Welcome. That breaking news is a large police presence in East Baltimore. The call went out at around 9 o'clock tonight with a police officer asking for assistance on East North Avenue near Acequith Street. 11 News reporter Tommy Clark is live near the scene tonight. Tommy, what do you know? Well, we have more than a dozen police officers and detectives here. You can see even the mobile command center is set up in this grocery store lot here. If you look down Acequith Street, this is the scene we're dealing with behind this crime scene tape. We have several police cruisers, detectives on scene looking around. We also got video a little bit earlier when we got here. We have not confirmed quite yet what the incident is here, but we have seen from Baltimore City Police their union on Twitter saying, quote, we are aware of the reported police involved shooting in the Eastern District tonight. President Mancuso and First Vice President McDonald are responding to support our members, end quote. So if you come back out to us, you can see this is oh, too early to, to tell. Somebody says they're shooting at Indiana University in, in um, Pennsylvania. There's too many of them. Hey, man. <laughs> Eight injured. Local reaction to last night's shooting is pouring in. People nearby describing the chaos they saw and say it was overwhelming to witness. Lauren Linder spoke with some community members and continues our team coverage for us. Here outside the Chevy Chase Community Center in White Township, you can see shoes scattered on the ground, left behind by people running from gunfire. Let's see if we can glean anything. Yeah, Air Force Ones. In White Township. Yeah, White Township. The blackest thing ever happened in White Township. Fitted you caps. A gin bottle or something on the ground there. Yeah, um... Yeah, these are these are sons. Some of them college students. It's too scary and too much. Ellen Ober holds back tears, thinking about what happened early Sunday morning when shots rang out just feet from her home. Bang, bang, bang. Let me see what kind of liquor is that. This can anybody ID this liquor bottle for me? I'm not up to date. Is that Moscato? That might be wine. No, nah, it's Bacardi. You get to see the thing on oh, the top. Bacardi. Yeah, Bacardi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And New Balance, yeah, New Balance tennis shoes. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah that's that's a son. That's son right there. <laughs> that's son all day, man. When did when did New Balance become hip, man? I just remember them being for like old old gliders, you know. Uh, they hit from DC, and then I think they spread from DC. Nah, that's that should, uh, that that should definitely start in DC. Yeah spread from there but it, it's still like it's, it's big in dc very big in dc but um yeah so yeah this is definitely a sun situation her home bang 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 over and over it wasn't just one or two bang 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 like 20 times ober's husband robert miller looked out the now window look at these trashy ass white people and i don't mean that in the i just mean that for lack of a better term you dig what i'm saying for lack of i Better turn. These people. You good, Ark? Yeah. <laughs> you good, man. <laughs> no, but I mean, I really do. I mean, these these people aren't shooting people. They, yeah, they, don't, they, they probably have guns, too. I bet you that guy oh, has plenty guns. of guns. He's probably got a cache of guns. But it's like, it's just, it's just like, God, even these people right here, if you put 100,000 of them in one place, you would probably have what three murders at the end of the year, and they'd probably all be domestic. Robert Miller looked out the window and saw folks racing out of the Chevy Chase Community Center. This whole parking lot was full of people running. They was all running down there, running out there, running out the back side over here. They trampled over one another, some exiting by this deck, breaking off a part of a fence. I knew something bad was going on. State police say they got called to respond just after 1230 in the morning to North Fifth Avenue, a little more than a mile away from IUP's campus. They say the center was rented out for a private party for 100 to 1. Rented out for a private party. When when you live somewhere and sons rent out a 
Like your neighborhood just became fucking the South Bronx. I'm going to take a vacation. In Gaza. It's, really, it's a tough situation, man. Um, God, it's nothing you can do, man. Really, man. It's nothing you can really do, man. Um, other than... You know, discriminate and shit. Not, a, not <sighs> rent to them. Yeah. that, And then it would be that... That's the thing. Like, yeah, the, these people had a... They owed it to their fellow community members to not rent to these people, man. Once they saw some sons coming to rent this for a party, they owed it. They owed it to the people in this community to be like, uh, oh, yeah, see what happened. Like, that ad we put in the paper for rent, we actually um, we actually have a book for that time. And the sons will be like, oh, for real? Yes, yeah, book, sorry. Like, All right, and then they'll leave. And you won't have to worry about it. The center was rented out for a private party for 100 to 150 people when someone opened fire inside, killing at least one person and wounding several others in their late teens and early 20s. We do know it was IUP's homecoming weekend. The university sent alerts to students to stay in a secure location until 6.40 a.m. A spokesperson tells KDKA the school did not sponsor the event, but confirmed students were there and some got hurt. There were young people there and there shouldn't have been laying on the sidewalk waiting. A former employee of IUP tells me it's not uncommon for university students to rent out this center for events. A university spokesperson says they have counseling available for those who may want to talk. For now reporting in Indiana County, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News. Mm. I mean, mm -hmm. y'all are going fucking ham in Maryland, man. What the hell? Now, this is Pennsylvania. Well, still, it doesn't change okay, the fact. Like there's a 15 yeah, it's the, it's the um, you're talking about the uh, the mid-Atlantic region, man. Well, yeah, D.C. Doing... and Baltimore and Maryland right now are just going insane. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, without a doubt, D.C. is off the hook right there. $15,000 reward being offered for any information leading to $15,000 reward. That's that's a good reward for the first day. Arrest and a little bit ago, state police described the chaotic moments that unfolded here earlier this morning. You can still see belongings like these shoes on the ground that people left behind. I was hearing a commotion. That's the same I got guy. Up he put on his glasses, man. That's the same fucking he looks, guy, he looks, man. Cool. he looks a little better with the glasses, though, man. Yeah, he does, man. You should rock those glasses, man. From that building. And when I he, come he out... He his jacket inside out, too. I've seen, I seen five people laying on the sidewalk out here. Robert Miller lives near the Chevy Chase Community Center, where police say more than 150 people were gathered when shots rang out around 1230 this morning. Lieutenant Colonel George Bivens said before the shooting, troop no new information. Okay, so that's anybody. Know, anybody know any more? Um, oh yeah, well let, let's just do Pitts, let's just do Pittsburgh right quick since this is the Pittsburgh channel. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh's falling Tonight, two apart. There, police say are responsible. Yeah, it, it's it's the same stories though. This could be anywhere. This could have been any city we clicked on. This is going tonight. The two people police say are responsible for the deaths of a mother and her four year old are in police custody. Shootings happened outside a grocery store in the city's east end back in December. Shelly Bortz has been following this case since it first happened, and today she was there when police brought in one of those suspects. The two suspects are behind bars tonight, charged in the connection of that double homicide. And detectives say it's a good day when you can finally tell the victim of a violent crimes family they're going to get justice. What do you Jennings. have to say about the charges brought against you? Terrell yeah. Jennings didn't answer any of that. <laughs> a little five, six. That's a tiny son, man. A hundred and forty pound. Sun man, if that with, with yeah, but he's wearing much he's wearing much nicer clothes than Mr. Miller was. With literally, literally, like literally, no fucking chance of not being in this position 
for something else had he not gotten caught for this. So had he not killed this woman and her baby, he would still go to prison because of the type of risky behavior he he participates in on the regular. So it's just sad that that girl, like that girl and her daughter didn't die for nothing. Like they still died for nothing. Because getting him off the street, they didn't they didn't die for getting him off the street. He was gonna go to jail for killing somebody else at some other time. What do you have to say about the charges brought against you? Terrell Jennings didn't answer any of our questions as he was escorted out of the Pittsburgh Police Headquarters this afternoon in handcuffs and shackles. Police say Jennings and Marquise Givner are responsible for shooting and killing 21-year-old Tamani Lewis and her four-year-old daughter, Kari Thompson. It's been a long process. It's still ongoing. Yo, these niggas are demons, man. God, shot that little girl. These niggas. Terrell and Marquise. Demons. It's too many black men in jail. These guys were out here since December. And it was some fucking faggot ass white liberal running around talking about there's too many black people in jail. Just not Kari enough. Thompson. It's been a long process. It's still ongoing. You may recall shots rang out on December 1st in the 1500 block of Lincoln Avenue in the Lincoln Lemington Belmar neighborhood shortly after 6 30 p.m. According to police paperwork, Lewis is seen on surveillance video sitting in the driver's seat of her Jeep Cherokee parked in front of the Brooklyn Food Mart. Detectives say three people are observed walking toward Lewis's Jeep when they stop and begin shooting. Gunfire flashes are seen in the video further up the street, which indicates a fourth suspect. Now, while all four men ran from the scene, additional camera footage shows one of the suspects get into a white Malibu on Lincoln Avenue. Through license plate readers, detectives were able to identify the vehicle's owner as the mother of Terrell Jennings. We still have more work to do. He did that shit in his mama's car. And that's how you get your mama shot. I've seen that happen before. Happened to a buddy of mine. Did a shooting in his in, in his car, but his mama used his car sometimes. Used his car to take his baby mother to work. And then the car got shot up with his his and his mother and his baby mother both got shot. But they survived. Reckless, man. People's owner as the mother of Terrell Jennings. We still have more work to do, but we're very, very happy with what happened this morning. It's important to note before her death, Lewis was to stand trial for another shooting in Homewood last week. See what Why? I tell you? I told you, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, shooters, shooters don't just shoot once. That shit is like fucking, that shit is like Doritos, man. Yo, once you start, once they start shooting and they start getting a reputation and they known for that and the adulation and the the well, the, the gravitas. They, I, I thought they said that the girl who was the mom who died was want, like about to stand trial for shooting someone. Is that right? No, the 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 dude was it was was was, it, was about to stand trial for another shooting. And the shooter was still on the street for shooting it's somebody else. To know. Oh, to, before her death, Lewis was to stand trial for another shooting. Oh, I got you. I misunderstood what she said. Hold on. Hold on. Did he say you might have? You might. It's Terrell Lewis. I'm pretty sure that's what his name is. Okay, you have me confused, man. Yeah, I was. Confused. No, this is Terrell no. Jennings. So maybe okay. No, no, Hold she on. she was she was a witness in another shooting. Oh, but she was a witness. Oh, maybe she was yeah. targeted then. Yo, you think? Got more work to do, but we're very very happy with what happened this morning. It's important to note before her death, Lewis was to stand trial for another shooting in Homewood last summer. Now both Givner and Do witnesses stand, trial. stand no. trial. No, she was a she was a she was a perp. She stand a trial because it's okay, so she was out here. Yikes. Where's there was the children, man? Yeah. 
Hey, but mom is the op. And got her little daughter killed, man. So more work to do, but we're very, very happy with what happened this morning. It's important to note before her death, Lewis was to stand trial for another shooting in Homewood last summer. Now both Givner and Jennings are charged with criminal homicide, criminal conspiracy, and aggravated assault. Reporting on the South Side, Shelly Bortz, KDKA TV News. <sighs> My God. Oh, okay. Tonight, Tacoma police say they've arrested a 33-year-old man for the shooting death of Joe Briggs. Briggs is a father of two and was well-known in Tacoma's martial arts community. The 39-year-old was shot in the chest early in the morning on September 10th while trying to save a woman who was being assaulted by three men. The suspect was booked into jail and will face a second-degree murder. He came out with the Brazilian Jitsu and they had the motherfucking switch zoo. <laughs> Shit. Man, son of Stan, man, yikes. Yeah, he hands it out quick enough to catch the ball. Tonight, there's a 15. Whew. Man. My God. Um, well, if you want some comedy relief, man, click on the, uh, check out the, the, uh, the link that I put in the back chat. What's your name? Oh. No. Oh. Thank you so much. What's your name? Oh. No. Oh. 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 What crime did I commit? Texas uh -huh. uh -huh. What? What crime? Oh my God. What have I done? What crime? No. And how do you feel about all this? You know, you're out here. It's the same you know, thing. Every day. It's the same thing with Eric Agam. Let, let him be in Palestine or whatever the fuck he's doing right now. But just can't we do that? You got the city to worry about. You got migrants pulling in. And you have fucking uh, migrants. Yeah. How often do you know that shooting is here? No, nothing. We don't have that. Not over here. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's Splitting Hill, Renica Hill, Fort Green. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about this? It don't bother me, but it happens every good moon, that's why. Thank you so much. What's your name? No! Oh, oh, oh. Get it on bitch. camera. Get it on camera. You fucking bitch, you fell on the floor. You fell on the floor. You fucking cunt. Your mother is a cunt. Your mother's a fucking whore. Oh, he's been through it. The only reason why he's still alive is because there's cops there. Yeah. He wouldn't have but he wouldn't have done it. So it wouldn't have <laughs> he would have done it if there wasn't no cops there. So you can't really say that, you know. Um Unless he's like Ethan Lyman. Ethan Lyman would have done it. Um, but yeah, he maybe he would have done it. I don't know. Maybe he would have. Um, I, I didn't hear your take on the Ethan Lyman thing. Can, can oh, I just dropped the video earlier. Yeah, I dropped the video earlier, man. Check it out, man. I it, the when, the cops, when the cops take right. that guy down later on in the video, the, all the Sun Men are saying, Choke him, choke him. Why don't you have his own, put, put your leg on his neck? Put your leg on his neck. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, shit. Could you imagine the other way if that was the other way around? A bunch of white people fucking said yelling at every son man getting arrested. That's a lynching. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, uh, the girl in the last video was arrested in August in connection with the non-fatal shooting and charged with attempted homicide, the shooting of two 18-year-old women. So imagine being a four-year-old girl and your mom gets you shot because she's out there fucking spinning the block on people. Wow. They're like, it's an entirely new definition of the worst steward of children. Wow. She was out there spinning the block and got... It's terrible. Like, that's... it's. 
what other fucking community do you hear this kind of shit in? None. Nowhere in the world, um, probably. Uh, you ain't hearing this shit in no other community. Time. In America. Yeah, not but, in America. But but the whole thing, when they say community, is not a community. Dude, I, I'm wondering where in the world you're finding a story with, like, mama spinning the block on the ops and then well, getting the like fucking... Like those, two, those two really broke gliders in that other video, man. They, You know, the, that whole community, way less money. Think about it. They have way less money than these sun people do. And they and they're yeah. not killing each other. Yeah. Way less. Yeah, they just some people have um they they live the best lives. Like those gliders are not in the top percentile of all gliders on the planet. But that those sun people we show in these videos are in the top one percentile of all suns on the planet. Mm, mm, mm. Shit, man. Give me a city, man. Uh, let's see what's going on around here, man. In this, in this world, man. Please take the five dollar challenge via PayPal Cash App or the Super Chat. You can support the channel if you feel if you feel you enjoy the content. Make sure you subscribe too. Everyone who hasn't subscribed, take a moment to subscribe, man. I want to get my subscribers up. I got to remember that, man, because I'm not going to be able to get subscribers the organic way like other channels. So I'm going to ask you guys if you haven't subscribed to subscribe. Let me see what, what the chat's saying. We just did Nashville. Nashville. Oh, Cleveland. Cleveland in the house. Cleveland is always the gift that keeps on giving you can buy a, a house in uh east cleveland for like twenty thousand bucks hey that's that's believe land man come on believe oh, land. Land. yeah we're all witnesses man um let's see a 19 crime alert police searching for suspects who shot and killed two men early this morning see a new yorker has the developing details from bedford heights Tragedy at a touch of Italy's sports bar on Aurora Road in Bedford Heights. Police say around 2 a.m., two men were shot and killed at this business. They What's the odds that these were Italians, man? I'm just about to say it. I don't think Italy can claim this one. Hey, uh, this is this is like a negative 20, 25% chance that this Italians. Some Come on, goddamn lot, Italians man. sort the Italians. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, this man. ain't nobody from Sicily. This is motherfucking <laughs> East African uh, fucking sun people, dog. For Heights, police say around 2 a.m., two men were shot and killed at this business. Neighbors told me they heard the commotion overnight. A rapid fire, like, pistol, I think it was. And I got on, Yo, <laughs> is this rough glider night, man? <laughs> Like yo, this is yo. Oh look! Look at the look at the. You see the mobile homes behind them. I mean, that's who lives in that area. That's who lives there. Wow. This looks like the lighthouse tender. Yo, privilege. This is the privilege. Okay. Fire like pistol. I think it was. And I found broken glass by the drive over there. When you heard that that shooting. You know, did it scare you? What went through your mind? Um, they had that before happen over there, like rapid fire. So I just thought it was maybe fireworks or something. But anyway, then I heard the police keep coming by. Off camera, he was way Hyatt too high. To oh, yeah. There was an altercation inside the sports bar, and the shooting suspects were asked to leave. Oh, That's when they oh. <laughs> It's too easy, man. We don't, need, we don't need no more context clues. Right? But that guy, you know, that guy was that was that was definitely Jeff Bridges that they were just interviewing. Yeah. Oh no, man! That looks Meth like Bridges, you know maybe. You, man. That's literally <laughs> unheard of right. in the Sun community to ask them to leave. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. And why? Well, don't don't ask why. Just don't do it. Y'all, everybody else, just leave the bar. Go somewhere else. Yeah. Why will cloud your mind with a bunch of unnecessary stuff? Just know that, and also, 
if you see someone else asking the sun man to leave you you then leave you don't you have to be the person that asked him to leave just that you be oh you, the table two tables down some people asking some sun man to leave check please yeah or if you're working uh boss i gotta get out of here Bedford Heights police tell 19 News there was an altercation inside the sports bar and the shooting suspects were asked to leave. That's when they opened fire, killing the victims. The search is on to find their killers. We stopped by a touch of Italy at opening time to ask for comment, but a manager on site declined an on-camera interview about the violence, telling us that the sports bar will be open as scheduled. Police are still investigating this double homicide and are using surveillance video in the area to try and identify those suspects. If you have any information, detectives would like to hear from you. We put information on our website at cleveland19.com. Reporting in Bedford Heights, CN Yorker, 19 News. And we just learned the names of the victims, Joshua and Dominic Cunningham. Police say the brothers were 21 uh, and 22 years old. Hmm. Joshua. Well, John, Dominic, but Joshua? Those are some people, and that's sad because two brothers. <laughs> <laughs> My conviction is unshaken. Uh, um, let me see, man. Let me, let me, let me see. Let, let me just try to confirm this, man, because, you know, Dominic, man, you know, you never know, man. So I, grew up with, I grew up with two Dominics. Who died, though? It was the people who Both of them. shooting? Both of them. Both of them brothers. They were brothers, right? Are uh, he trying to see if they were shooters or? Yeah, uh, were they the aggressors? Like, were they the Sun Men being asked to leave? Or, you know, um, people, the alleged Sun Men? I don't know. Wow, unbelievable! You got pictures um, of them. Yeah, I got yeah. Was I right? Was I right? Let me see. Let me show you. Cousin, those are my cousins. I right? damn. Yeah, That's man, my people, man. Look, wait. Cut on God to heaven, man. Your tribe. That's from they from your tribe, man. <laughs> yeah, man. That's that look like hey. If I had a son, he'd look like Dominic. Damn, it's your tribe, man. Wow. So who's, got, so who's got more privilege? These guys or that or that glider they were just interviewing over there lives in the mobile homes, man. <laughs> hey, gliders, look, y'all gliders been let us steal the narrative the mainstream media steal the narrative well i'd say he was like man y'all history is being told like in entirely a wrong way y'all history Juice is being crew told. stole the narrative yeah it is true yeah yeah they they definitely whatever but some just people like, just benefit not, from their agenda yeah but y'all not y'all not like combating the narrative either like our narrative is being stolen into like a positive light right like some people, some people narrative is thrown at like kings and queens and all this other shit. And it's just like, uh, believe in yourself. You can do anything. Glider's narrative is like, everybody's rich. Everybody's wealthy. Everybody's this. And it's just not true because y'all, everybody didn't come from that, especially in gliderdom. <laughs> 